Hello everyone. Hey. Welcome to Temples in Training. My name is Christine. My name is Kyle. And today we are talking about our fitness goals. So if you are interested in that, make sure you stick around. directed here thank you so much for coming here first just to get to know us more and understand um, kind of what we're doing we have had many times of jumping into fitness journeys but our mindset is a little bit different this time around and I kind of just wanted to let you know where our hearts are at at least mine so just <laughs> well I don't know um, I'll share mine too everyone Okay, so the first thing I wanted to start off with is why working on my body matters to me. And I know that it's such a controversial topic, um, you know, the body positive and, um, you know, being really into fitness and there's just kind of this huge controversy. And like I have said in several videos before, whether my main mindset was the same or not, is that our worth doesn't come from our body our physical image like what we look like um how the number on the scale all that sort of things however the things that affect just like the things we do in our daily life our fruit what comes from it is what matters so for me i know that i obviously struggle more than my hubby here um i think <laughs> i don't know um with my uh physical um, status. I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'm in pain. When I'm doing something, I'm in pain. When I do something for a long amount of time, it's uncomfortable. I can't do it. I have th my physical ability right now at this point is just very low. And I know that um, just kind of general speaking that if God were to ask me to do something or call me to do something, then I have parameters currently. I have certain things that like I'm not physically able to do. Um, I know in just like a family sense, if like playing with my kids, sitting on the floor for too long, I'm already losing feeling in my legs and my circulation is no good. And if, you know, I think I've said this before, my daughter, you know, ran towards something unsafe, then my ability to just jump up and go protect her is not there. So I just know that my physical body is not at the point that it should be able to um, kind of function daily. And the biggest thing, more on a spiritual level, would be how I feel I'm using my body, my temple that God has blessed me with, God is um, allowing me to use during my time here on earth. Um, I have not treated it properly and um, I just want to bring in a couple verses real quick <laughs> um, of that kind of have led me to this idea and the first one is 1st Corinthians 6 19 through 20 do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from God you were bought at a price therefore honor your God with your body so although this isn't our eternal form um, it was still something that God bought with a, for a price and he has blessed us with and I want to be able to take care of it um, as the temple of the Holy Spirit you know that's why our name is temples in training because there's so many different forms of our temple um, you know our, my physical body being one of them that I want to cherish and take care of and the second verse is Philippians 319 and honey if you want to read this one it is right there starting at All 19 right. Philippians. Philippians 319 their destiny is destruction their god is their stomach and their glory is their shame their mind is set on earthly things right so i know that this is kind of something i briefly mentioned in my um weigh-in video i think recently posted um just that i wasn't consciously choosing food as a god but you know, we think of God as someone you go to, someone you talk to, someone you have a relationship with in your everyday life. And I know that for me, any time that I was feeling anxiety or discomfort or just confusion or just busyness or whatever it was, I was finding my comfort in food and not in God. Um, and that was just 
a very gluttonous thing and it just isn't healthy and it's just not something that is, we are spiritually called to do or spiritually called to um, lean on God for those comforts. So I know that I don't have it all right. I know there's a lot of things that I have to go deeper with and there's a certain love of my body and all those sort of things that are, are spoken about more of in the word. But those are the things that I'm going to focus on right now. Um, and just what God has called me to and I'm just really excited to you know cherish this body that he's given me and began to and begin to work on it um, so that I can continue to work for him um, so that is kind of my whole wrap up of you know my purpose and my desire in this and um, before I go on to my goals my long-term goals I will go ahead and pass it on to you why working on my body matters to me, I would definitely say it's um, as far as awakening my body, you know, I've been kind of just, like like people get when they're in a rut, just moving, you know, like just letting your day move you, you know what I mean? That's what I've kind of been in for a little while now. I've been uh, working uh, late uh, night shift uh, a year ago, just about, and it just, it just really dawned on me where I was just always tired, always fatigued, never really wanting to wake up, always wanting to sleep. I know many of you guys probably share in the same way, you know, and just not feeling motivated in um, doing anything, much of anything. I really want to, just like Christine said, be out there playing with my kids, family, you know, being motivated to go out to the beach and, and doing stuff, although COVID things are kind of holding a lot of people back right now, but just being excited to do things like that rather than man i just rather just stay at home and, and and do something you know rather than just being even at home being active wanting to do something you know just awake and present in the moment you know because it's just a, a struggle i've been having a while and i do believe that my health does contribute to it the way i feel about myself about my body just the the image and and how i treat my temple especially you know this is a temple for god and if i want to do god's work and be motivated to do those things i better better upkeep you know i better not just be physically fit but really focus on things like that yeah yeah very good mm -hmm. so um just to wrap up the video i, I wanted to end with um our long-term goals i know that our little fitness updates and you know weigh-ins or whatever it is um will give short-term goals for the week but just overall long-term goals i know that aside from the number it will be to not be in pain anymore to not be mm -hmm. out of breath anymore to not have so much problem with circulation and like atrophy like if I even do something with my hands for too long like it starts getting really painful so that would be the main thing and I guess just in numbers I need to lose 100 pounds um, mm -hmm. and that's just the fact of the matter and who knows maybe I will get halfway there and find that I'm able to do the things that I need to do and it's not something I need to focus on as much um, I'm just kind of you know letting God lead in that but I know that just looking at it knowing where I was physically before mm, Sorry about that our second is crying so <laughs> we don't have too much time usually increments of quiet but um he'll return and tell his goals in just a minute but just like i was saying um just as far as numbers uh i would say that right now my goal would be 100 pounds and um again i'm just gonna let uh god walk me through this journey and be with me and that might change but that's it for now so just health wise feeling better physically and getting down to 100 pounds that would be my long-term goal so when he gets back i'll let him share his did you just want to join the video you Thank did you. Yeah. all right bye bye it's your turn my has talked about all of her goals all right well um as far as my goals numbers wise i would say my very end goal would be about getting down from to around uh, 175 you know 170 would be nice but 175 is really I think a, a healthy goal for my body shape and size you know um, and but besides the number I would say the number one thing is sticking to a routine um, yeah, one thing I have a hard one. time is uh, going to sleep at a healthy time sleeping during that time <laughs> And waking up. I understand, you know, having a family and kids, you know, sometimes the sleep part isn't always the game plan, you know, but making sure to stick to a schedule, a routine, my whatever the workout exercises or 
whatever I decide to do is what I stick to, you know, just being disciplined in that especially yeah. and uh, just maintaining a healthy diet, you know, well-balanced meals. I've been uh, skipping breakfasts, so I want to make sure I don't overeat, but also ah! eat just enough regular portions. Yeah, so. she agrees. <laughs> yeah, Evelyn? Great. Well, there you go. Um, there's some confirmation. Ah! All right, guys, so this is our temples and training, why it all matters. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please join us, follow us. All right, guys, so thanks again for watching our uh, why it matters video. This is just as, uh, an intro as far as um, what, what it encompasses in our channel, you know, what we're trying to complete here as far as our workout routine and our plans, okay? Yeah, and if you like these videos, um, I normally don't like to do this too much, but please subscribe. I would love to be able to stay as a stay-at-home mom, and that's just being um, completely honest and throwing it out there, and I know that it's free to you guys to watch and subscribe and like, and so it would just really help our family if I can continue to stay at home and, you know, raise our girls. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope we will find you in the next one. Bye! Right, bye, -bye.